here in, the, in North America, um, half of the workforce is in an open plan office, which means that you know, there's no cubicles, there's no offices, right? But 75% are millennials, so anybody 30 plus younger, you have a, you know, three fourths of those folk are in an open plan office. So if you have to get something done, the first thing you're gonna do is reach for your headphones, right? We, we, we instinctively know that. Here's where the rubber hits the road. If you listen to any music that you like, that's been designed to engage you, like any, you know, any kind of, any music on Spotify or, or, or um, Apple Music or Pandora or any of these, these sort of commercial, uh, or any of your old CDs if you're still playing them, that music is designed to engage you. It's designed to have you pay attention to it. So what you've just done by sticking these things in your ears is sure, you've blocked out the local noise, but now you're giving your brain something else to listen to, to divide your attention. And so you're making, the, you're making it worse. We've actually done a lot of science around this. Um, we, we, we did a very large uh, science uh, research <coughs> uh, project this year with uh, many thousands of people. And we said, hey, when you're trying to work, there's three things. When you had a, a control group of no music, control group of whatever you want to listen to, Bon Jovi, the Beatles, you call it, and then the folks that will audio. And we found that there's a significant, uh, statistically extremely uh, important uh, advantage to not listening to nothing. <laughs> Can you say that? Not listening to nothing? Listening to no music or listening to music that you like. The advantage is listening to um, the music that we provide, which has all been remixed, remastered, very specific new types of music. All right. Well, uh, I know that there was a lot of uh, study that's going in, obviously, um, with, with the team that you've got involved to understand why people can't focus. Uh, yes. You know, what, what, what are people doing wrong? Well, the answer to what are people doing wrong when they're trying to focus? What, well, an obvious one is don't listen to music you like. <laughs> It's going to distract you. It's going to divide your attention. And I'll talk about why. Most music that people like has got a vocal in it, right? She loves you, yeah, yeah, right? You, you hear the vocal. Uh, the one that I wrote, which is, I've been thinking about you, right? Um, back in the old London beat things. Your brain, not your brain, but all humans' brains are hardwired to pay attention to certain sounds. And the reason why is, I'm talking to you now, if I hear a voice over here behind me that I can't see, because I'm concentrating on you right now, it's, it's something that's called my exogenous attention. This is a little bit of science for it, but it's not that difficult to understand. There's two types of your attention, and everybody will instinctively understand this. There's me talking to you guys now, and that's something called <clears throat> my endogenous attention. It is me focused on the thing I'm doing. It is me concentrating on doing a spreadsheet, writing an article, or doing an email. While that's happening, my exogenous attention, which is driven, that's my background attention, if you like, my non-conscious attention is here, and that's driven by your hearing. So, if I'm trying to concentrate on you, and, I, I, and I'm, we're having this conversation, and I hear a voice over here, I have, an, I have a mechanism in my brain, which is the limbic mechanism, and it's called the fight or flight mechanism. So I'm, my, my subconscious mind, my limbic system, is gonna make an instant decision. Is that danger or is that reward? Is that someone coming to hurt me or is that someone bringing me a sandwich? And, and the, the, that, the fight or flight actually looks for food, sex, and danger. <laughs> this is true for every human being. The Queen of England, same thing. Same thing happens to everybody has the same thing. So when you hear a human voice, you're, this part of your brain, your subconscious brain, this, you don't even know this is happening, is making a split decision. Is it someone I wanna talk to? Is it a sandwich? Or is it someone's gonna hurt me? Now, when you play music in the background like this, that has voices of any kind in it, that um, response is being triggered significantly. And you don't know it, but what's happening is, it is taking you out of a flow state. It's taking you out of a focal uh, flow state. So that's the, that's the mechanics of why, if you listen to music you like with vocals in it, 
Your question was, what are people doing wrong? Well, <laughs> don't listen to music with vocals then. <laughs> That's a big one. But we found it's more than that. We found don't listen to music that has an instrument that sounds like a vocal because we've measured it and that has the same effect. So what sounds like a vocal? Well, how about a saxophone or a cello or a trumpet? We found that listening to say Miles Davis is actually as distracting for some people as listening to the Beatles. There's something about the sound of that trumpet sound that connects to that same part of the brain. and You pay attention to it. That is why Miles Davis was so successful. You can't help paying attention to it, whether you don't like it or you do like it. <laughs> Excuse me. So one of the, one of the most important things to, to just sum up your question is, don't listen to music you like when you're working. But there's, there's more to the question. There's, there's more answers than, than that. Um, we are distracted for when we're trying to work for several reasons. Um, there are obvious physical distractions, like there's a, uh, you know, there's a jackhammer next door. <laughs> In fact, just before we started this interview, there was a jackhammer next door and it has stopped, luckily. <laughs> I would have been very distracted with this thing going on. <clears throat> but you can, you can always deal with that. You can either go somewhere else or, right, or you can just wait for it to start. Um, but the much bigger problem is the thing I'm talking about, which is your internal distractions, which is the way that your flow state is impacted by your exogenous attention. And there are things that you can do to help stop that. Now, I've talked about music, but there are other things too. If you're in an office that has a glare, if you're in a, an office, it may be subtle. I don't know if you've noticed that if you're in an office where there's a, uh, the light comes through in the morning in a certain way, and you're never able to kind of concentrate first thing in the morning when you're in the office. It could well be the glare. Again, we are hardwired to notice some things. If there's glare, it means that you can't see there's a danger sign because it means that there's a glare. I can't see if there's a danger to me. All of this goes back to sort of an evolutionary sort of caveman <laughs> aspect for us when, you know, evolutionarily thousands of thousands of years ago. And a lot of those same responses are alive and well in our, in our brains. And um, we, we haven't, evolutionarily speaking, we haven't caught up to actually what life is like today. <clears throat>